Hey there everybody, Kayla Lindsay, EXP Realty, the True Lane Group here in Charlotte, North Carolina. So, they tell us that if you do what you love, you will never work a day in your life. What does that mean? So I know plenty of people that think, oh, I'm going to get retired early, I'm going to uh, do this business for a few months and then I'll just love what I'm doing. I'm just going to retire. I'm, I'm going to sit back and make some money and that's about it. But what does it mean to love what you do? So there are some people that love what they do. They play with dogs and they have a doggy daycare. There are some people that love what they do and they're a mom or a dad. And there's some people who run other businesses that are not something that the outside world would say, you love doing that. <laughs> Here's a, a breakdown of the day in the life of a real estate agent. Wake up about 5 a.m., get a workout in, eat a healthy breakfast, meditate, journal, get to the office, prospect after meeting with the team, maybe get lunch, maybe not, usually not, hopefully get lunch sometimes, follow back up with the team again, meet with clients, then five o'clock hits. And the interesting thing about a real estate agent's day is although that most people at five o'clock, the day ends, our day is speeding up at five o'clock. Yep, that's right. We visit with most of our clients between five and 7.30, sometimes eight o'clock at night. And when it's winter, it is a little bit more difficult because it's dark out and it feels like you should already be home in bed. In summer, it's a lot easier. But that's what it means to love what you do. I love helping my clients. It's so much fun. I remember when someone first pointed out to me when I got into real estate and I said, well, you know, you're going to work weekends and nights, right? And at first I was absolutely gripped with fear. I was like, oh my gosh, I am, she's right. I'm signing up to just give up on my life. I, I will have no more time for anyone ever. The reality was I loved what I was doing so much that I didn't even notice at all that I was working. Even today I work Every Saturday and Sunday, it seems like, and uh, I still love it. I think it's probably one of the best things ever. And I think the reason why I love it so much is because I love the end result. When my client sends me that text or, or gives me that phone call or sends me that email that says, oh my gosh, I am so happy. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. This is exactly what we wanted. It's a dream come true. Or my client that we got the offer accepted yesterday and she sent me a text that said, I am literally crying. I can't believe it. Thank you. You have no idea what this is going to do for my family. Love what you do. It doesn't mean you have to love every piece of it. Anybody that knows me knows I hate paperwork. But if you love what you do, if you can focus on that end result, the little parts that you don't like about your job or about what you do, they kind of go to the wayside. You don't think about them as much. Because you know where all that work is leading. You know where the things that you don't like, why you're doing them. Like, why am I waking up early? Because there's people out there that need me. I get a thrill and a joy from helping people. So if you are stuck, if you're not sure either why you're in the career that you're in, if you feel like you're getting bogged down with things that you don't like, maybe it's time to get help. If there are things in your career that you still love, get help with the things that you don't love. Start to leverage. Find someone who does love those things so you can focus on what you love. Kayla Lindsay, The True Lane Group. I'll see you guys soon.